हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट फंक्शनल इंटरफेसिस एंड देयर रिलेशन विद लैमडा एक्सप्रेशन वी विल सी हाउ बोथ आर इंटर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर वील ऑल्सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वॉज द नीड फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग फंक्शनल इंटरफेसिस इन जावा एंड इन ऑर्डर टू ड्यू सो वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर एंड मोर अबाउट लैमडा एक्सप्रेशन एज वेल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So, in order to understand about functional interfaces, first let's try to understand about lambda expressions. What is lambda expression? What is their use? So, basically, in maths, we used to learn where f x is a function of x, x square plus two x plus one, something like this. It can be you know f x is a function of x where x is equal to x plus one. Anything. So, we used to define functions. We had a functions chapter in our college. subject as well so similarly here also we can define a lambda expression with a parameter and an expression for a parameter we can also say a parameter and curly brackets and a group of statements for that parameter so this constitutes a uh, functional interface why was functional interface introduced in java in order to compete with python with respect to functional programming in functional programming functions are the first class citizen of that language and we don't mutate state we don't change the value of variables we just continuously pass them to different functions to get an updated output with each function call so this was introduced to compete with functional programming there were other use cases because it is very compatible with the, the streams api and it makes your code look very neat and clean and it basically when going through the code if you have a function call and you have the implementation at somewhere else as compared to you have a function call and there only you have the implementation so you can see what is happening so there were many positive use cases of introducing functional in interface for example if you wanted to create a thread in java what you had to do was you could have done runnable r is equal to new runnable and you can create a inner class here only and then maybe this is optional to write override annotation but you you need to implement the run method so what you would do you would may basically maybe just printing something system dot out dot print okay so earlier this is the way how you created a runnable and then you could have passed it to a thread now with lambda expression this becomes quite simpler what you can do is you can say runnable r is equal to your lambda expression takes no input so this is taking no input and you are doing system dot out dot print hello so you see compared to these many lines of code your code is getting reduced to these few simple lines okay let's take one more example if you had a comparator for comparing two in integers what you would have done is you could have write, written comparator integer c1 is equal to new comparator integer and then you could have implemented the compare method public int compare integer o1 and integer o2 and then you could have compared these and return the result so you could you can simply do o1 dot compare to o2 and then this is your inner class how you have implemented the comparator and now you can pass this comparator while you know uh doing some comparisons so what you can do is suppose you have a list list of integer nums okay so if you want to sort this list you could have done collection dot sort nums and then you could have passed this comparator here okay so you have to do this much line of uh, coding but what you can do is simply you can do collection as a dot sort nums and here only you can define your lambda expression okay so what you need to do integer o1 integer o2 and then your lambda expression and o1 dot compare to o2 so you know this much line of code is getting replaced by only this much line of code so 
you can see there are advantages and apart from advantages and you know you are defining the logic where you are needing you are not defining at somewhere some players s and calling it you are defining it where you are you need it okay so this is also an advantage now now why was functional interfaces introduced in java functional interfaces were introduced in java to make them compatible with lambda expression or basically interchangeably use lambda expression and functional interfaces or in a way you know it to represent lambda expressions so what is a functional interface a functional interface is a interface which can only have one abstract method public interface my face and we have a method since there is only one uh, default method in this interface we can mark it with, with the annotation functional interface okay now if if i add another void method here then this code will not compile because i have marked it with functional interface so i, I cannot write another abstract method in this uh, interface what i can write is a default method in in this interface that is a different thing we have a video for default method in the interfaces in our channel do check out that but i cannot create any more abstract methods in my functional interface now let's see how does it become compatible with a lambda expression so at a later point of your code what you can do is you can say my interface m1 is equal to now what is the signature of this uh, abstract method it is not taking any input zero input and it is returning zero output no not returning any output so you can represent this functional interface with a lambda expression let's see how so what you can do is no input because our abstract method doesn't take any argument and since it doesn't return anything you can give any implementation that you want so i am doing a simple print operation hello okay so now this interface my interface is represented with this lambda expression you know this is the relationship between functional interface and lambda expression so let's see some actual code examples for this so if you see this code i have a functional interface i have called it my interface i have annotated it with functional interface uh, annotation and i have a default method i can have as many default methods as i want for a default method i have a, another uh, uh, video in my channel you can watch this but there is one abstract method if i try to create another abstract method here apply one you know it will give a compilation error it will give a compilation here because because it is a functional interface it can have only one abstract method okay now what i wanted to show you was you see how i have here at line number five how i have represented my functional interface with a lambda expression so this is my lambda expression and I have represented it using my functional interface. So this you can do. You can refer your lambda expression using a functional interface. That is why functional interfaces were introduced in Java. And we already talked about lambda expression. What are the benefits of using lambda expression? And we saw a couple of examples as well. So the prime reason was to represent or to refer lambda expressions. Functional interfaces were introduced in Java. And let me show you one more example so that it will be more clear clear for you and you know you will understand more so let's check one other interface i have so this is again a functional interface and as shown uh, earlier it cannot have two abstract method you know it will give a compilation error so you can have one extract method so here i have a string processor function interface i call this uh, interface a string processor okay so you can see in this example what we are doing okay so again we are referring a lambda expression using our this string processor functional interface okay so what this lambda expression is doing here it is taking one argument as an input okay so you can write input directly also and you can do this also if you want it is more or less the same thing and what you are doing we are taking an string as an input and we are doing an uppercase operation on that string. Let me run and show you this code. So whatever input we'll pass, it will convert it to the uppercase. And then in order to test this 
lambda expression which is referred with the functional interface okay so in order to test this at line number six we are calling it so we are calling this uh, functional interface and we are calling this process method now this process method will eventually call this lambda expression okay so if i run this code you know as soon as i execute line number seven you can see the capital form of our input we pass small hello world here the capital form of our input is printed on the console we can do we uh, we can do one more round of testing now i have implemented a new lambda expression what i am doing is i am reversing the order of my input so if i pass hello world i am expecting to to get a reverse of what i have passed okay and again i we have represented it using string processor so we have re uh, represented it using this functional interface and we have represented this lambda expression using it okay so this is our lambda expression okay and then we are calling the process method on the interface because there is only one method in that interface it will eventually call the lambda expression which you have defined okay so if you want to test this also we can test that and we can see you know the reverse of hello world we can see here the reverse of hello world is printed earlier we passed hello world and the capital of hello world was printed and here the reverse of hello world is printed so you can see that using functional interfaces you can represent your lambda expressions you can refer them you can call them you can pass them as arguments you can do whatever you want so this is the prime reason for introducing functional interface in java to represent and to refer lambda expressions i hope friends you would have liked this brief explanation of functional interfaces in java so these videos are part of our java interview preparation series where we focus on some typical interview questions which can be asked to you in an interview for a java developer so please watch this complete uh, playlist rigorously you will learn a lot of things you will gain a good preparation for your java interviews so please like this video if you think it was helpful to you please show your support by sharing this video more and more you can take a screenshot of this video and tag me on twitter using my twitter handle which i have in the description you can tag me on linkedin using my linkedin id which is also there in the description you can tag me on facebook as well so please try to spread this video more and more with your friends also consider subscribing our channel and show your love by supporting our efforts thanks a lot for watching so please like this video if you think it was helpful to you please show your support by sharing this video more and more you can take a screenshot of this video and tag me on twitter using my twitter handle which i have in the description you can tag me on linkedin using my linkedin id which is also there in the description you can tag me on facebook as well so please try to spread this video more and more with your friends also consider subscribing our channel and show your love by supporting our efforts thanks a lot for watching